Hello, and I'm so happy you're with me today. And welcome to um, my weekly oracle card reading. My name is Cindy, and I'm with Cindy'sHealing.com. So, and this is the weekly oracle card reading for April second, two thousand and twelve. So, I'm. Um, I hope you had a great week last week, and hopefully this week will be even better. Uh, we celebrated Palm Sundays for those Christians who follow that faith, uh, and heading up to Easter on next Sunday. So, um, I'm going today. I'm going to use the Magical Messages of the Fairy cards, and I'm going to pick three cards, one for the beginning of the week, one for the middle of the week, and one for the end of the week. I am a holistic healer and an angel therapist, and I do, uh, I'm guided by the angels and by God and the ascendant masters like Jesus. I'm a, uh, spiritual speaker and I'm a healer I do Reiki healing as well and I've had a lot of good um, sessions via Skype and doing Skype for people who are at a distance is wonderful because I can see you and I can see your angels with you and uh, your aura and your energy and things like that. I can, I'm also clairvoyant, so I can see those who have passed that are with you. So it's an important tool for me. So, but I'm going to shuffle and um, we'll see what the week brings, okay? Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. And the first card is. It says new home and it says moving is a step in the right direction for you now because it just says new home they can't mention you know new everything it means a change of what uh, is no longer comfortable for you or uh, so a new home let's bring something like a home is brings comfort to you so something new is in the horizon it could be an actually a new home, it could be a new job, it could be a new garden, you know, something new that's going to make you feel at home and comfortable and, and warm. So that's the first card. So let's see what the, uh, the next card is and we can bring the two cards together for the middle of the week. So if you're contemplating, a new home could even mean redecorating think about doing some redecorating and make it look new and make some changes spring cleaning those of you I had uh, started some spring clean as well so okay so let's see what the middle of the week is it says let go As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energies rapidly attract your desires. Okay, now, if you're getting a new home, or you're redecorating, or making changes in the garden, whatever that is, that change, or to a new job, maybe are you wanting to control everything, and there's another person's opinion, or help that you need to get, or maybe you need to get help. You know, um, call a professional or someone uh, with talents. So let go. Don't control. You can't do everything. You can't be everything. And if you have a partner involved, listen. This is both your home. Make it loving and comfortable. Um, so that's a good thing. So, so ask the angels. Say, please help me not to be controlling. <laughs> surrender and, and relax your energies and, and enjoy it don't be stressed out maybe some of you are trying to get ready for maybe a wedding or a party or even Easter and you're trying to hurry up trying to get everything ready for Easter dinner and make changes and you're not getting the cooperation you need okay just let it go it'll be fine it'll be perfect don't add that added stress on you okay so let's see what the end of the week brings okay 
it says goodbye to the old, hello to the new. And it reads, you finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. <laughs> that goes great with a new home or a new job or changes that you're making. How wonderful is that? So goodbye, get rid of it, enjoy the new. And if you're, de like I said, if you're decorating whatever you're doing or moving or in the process of this change, how wonderful, say bye-bye and they let it go. Finishing one chapter or a book in our lives is always good and start a new one. So that's absolutely wonderful. It looks like a great week, you know, that's wonderful. Okay, so um, I have the Archangel Michael cards, and we'll shuffle them and see what prayer he has for us this week. Oh, also, I, I failed to mention Passover is on Friday, uh, Friday evening, so... To all of you who celebrate Passover, I wish you a happy, healthy one. And the same for those who are celebrating Easter. Happy Easter to you. Okay, card flipped over. <laughs> it says, be gentle with yourself. And it reads, Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Okay. Yeah, you know, sometimes we beat ourselves up pretty good. And you have to love yourself. Because remember, uh, law of attraction or law of the universe, what you put out there comes back to you. So how you treat yourself is how others are going to treat you. So if you're rough on yourself and you think you're not good enough or you're trying to be perfect, but you're already perfect. So why are you trying to be perfect? You already are. So we can't, uh, all our gifts aren't the same as everyone else. So we have special gifts and if you find them, then you know you're perfect and you, and you connect. So be kind to yourself and love yourself. And you say, you know what? I deserve peace. I deserve not to be crazy, which goes perfect with the new home and the changes and your stress level that you're doing that. You know what? It's coming. Relax. You'll be completed. If if you're expecting company for the holiday and you're going crazy for your house, your company should be there for you to see you and enjoy uh, you and your and uh, the gifts that you give them for a meal or a celebration of food and and company. So, and not so much your house. If it's clean, good. It's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because I know from experience, I was like that, especially when my children were younger, and uh, I would run, oh, drive myself crazy, be up 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and then have to deal with the kids, and I'm trying to make things perfect. And now I know, you know what, you come over, kick off your shoes, we're going to sit around and, and just enjoy and talk and get some good food and not go crazy. So, And that's so much better. <laughs> So I thank you again for watching. I thank you for visiting. Please come again and see me next week. Have a glorious week next week. And I'm so happy every time you come. So take care. God bless. Remember, you are awesome. You are love. And you are so divinely blessed. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.